All right, this is the video answer key for our four practice problems tonight. Unit conversion practice. Here we go. We want to find out how many problems were solved in two hours and 30 minutes when we're practicing at a rate of 26 problems per hour. So 26 problems in one hour is going to equal how many problems? I'll use X for the unknown. How many problems in two and a half hours? That's what two hours, 30 minutes is. We could do 30 minutes out of 60 minutes to get that half an hour, right? So we have a conversion factor of 2.5 here because I can see that to get from one hour to two and a half hours, I'm going to multiply by 2.5. So all I need to do to solve this, conversion factor 2.5. So I'm going to go 26 problems times my conversion factor of 2.5. And, and that equals 65 problems in two and a half hours. Done deal. Next problem. If that went too fast, back it up and pause it. <laughs> Ice cream cones sold in the month of March at a rate of 136 per day. By the way, March has 31 days, in case you were wondering. Okay, if we have 136 cones in one day, you can see what the conversion factor is going to be already, right? It's going to be 31. We want to know how many cones in 31 days. There's my factor times 31. Conversion factor 31. So 136 times 31 equals a whole lot of ice cream cones, 4,216 in 31 days. Nice. Next one. Miles walked in one hour at a rate of five and a half feet per second. Okay. Five and a half feet in one second is the same as we multiply this by 60 it's the same as 330 feet why did we multiply by 60 to change this to one minute We're looking for hours though. I'm going to need to convert one more time, right? I'm going to multiply by one. Why do I call it one? Because 60 over 60 is one. This will change minutes to hours and it'll give us 19,800 feet in one hour. Our answer wants us to figure out miles. So this one gets a little dicey here. I'm going to go 1,900, 800, 19,800 feet divided by how many feet are in a mile. My units match up, feet on top, feet on the bottom. That's going to change me to miles. 3 and 75 one hundredths or 3 and 3 quarters miles in one hour. So we had a two-step conversion there using the 60s to change from seconds to minutes to hours. And then we divided feet by 5280 because that is a mile. We want feet on top, feet on the bottom. That makes our unit conversion. And finally, if we have 72 meals, fast food meals in one year, and we want to break that down to in one month, how many meals in one month? This time our conversion factor is going to be 
dividing by 12. I know I told you never to use this sign, but you can understand what I mean here. It fits in, and uh, I apologize for using this old sign. That means division, okay? So to break a year into a month, I divide by 12, so this is pretty easy. I'm just going to break 72 meals. I'm going to change one year to 12 months. And then that's just a fraction that I can reduce, right? 72 divided by 12. Six meals in one month. Woo! That is our video answer key for your four practice problems. I hope it went well for you and you're smiling now. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.